morning, everybody. Uh, my name is JD. I'm with Rice Face Soapery, and I just wanted to help out um, fellow soapers and also candle makers, um, beginners, and all sorts of other levels. Uh, well, I uh, decided to purchase something close to uh, California. I live out here at Redondo Beach, and I wanted something. As we all know it, shipping can get very expensive. It doesn't really matter because it will cost you no matter what. If you don't have a good supply of places where you can get the soaping supplies and the candle supplies, uh, if you're out here in California, try Lone Star. Uh, it might work out for you. Uh, I think there's very many reasons why I chose Lone Star is because I was looking for palm wax and I was kind of deciding one other company in the East Coast in Ohio and it was just way too much $30 for shipping and I just kind of wanted to lessen that so um, I have my laptop here just to give some samples of uh, the fragrances that I bought and also a couple of wax I'll show you if you've never seen it before I've always been very curious of what people buy and what the material looks like and when you don't have it in front of you you're just kind of guessing and um, so I'm a tactile person and I love to touch things so I also took notes of kind of what I thought they smell like um, I could be wrong and they do say different things uh, here uh, online and sometimes you do go by the review it gets five stars you're like hey I want to buy that and so today I'm gonna try, uh, I already unboxed it, uh, got too excited, and I'm gonna review the first one here, it's called, um, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's Caribbean Escape, and uh, so, you know, um, I wanted to try something, uh, you know, for the summer I wanted something tropical. I do also want to use this for, these are soap safe on their website. And I did a deal where uh, it's 16 ounces, and if you get five bottles of their fragrances, they give you a dollar off. So I, I guess to me that's a good deal. So um, I decided to give it a go. And each one, this one is about $18.95. I know, right? 16 ounces. I'm not one to buy a lot of fragrances, but I figured if you're going to buy something, at least to get it a dollar off and get it closer to where you live. So. Um, this one, when I, I, I mean, I still love smelling it. Um, so this one, when I did smell it, I could smell a bit of the coconut. Um, there's some melonish thing there. There's some flower scents. I can't state that I would smell it like in the Caribbean because I have never been there. I know, sad. I've never been there. So, um, and this is, I mean, it does have a coconut you know in there and I think that's probably a plumeria uh, I'm not quite positive but um, according to their um, Caribbean scent um, this is what they mentioned on their website I'm gonna check it out for you right now and um, let's see here Caribbean escape got about 13 reviews maybe like a four point two I don't know, they have like a little star with a little bit of edge and on the fifth star and um, so that one unfortunately doesn't really say much about it. So there you have it. Sometimes you get, you know, an idea of what it could smell like. Uh, I think if you click on further, but uh, some of them don't really say it. So. Sorry, I didn't have much more information on what they smell, but it's terrific if you want to have a little bit of coconut melon-ish and some plumeria flower, this would be it. Um, and the other one is uh, supposed to be a dupe from Bath and Body Works, and it is called, not this one, Cool Citrus Basil. And uh, I'm going to look it up online real quickly here. And um, cool citrus. Hmm. 
has a lemon and also a basil. Uh, picture had five stars, six reviews. So again, I'm one for looking at reviews. Um, and let me see if it says it on there. It doesn't. Maybe if I go under the cool citrus basil, it'll show me show you more of what it. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. <laughs> so smells just like the popular Bath and Body Works fragrance. So there you go, what it smells like. Um, it doesn't really say more than that. But to me, it smells... Uh, I'm going to open it right now. I'm sorry if I did not. Um, you know, to me, uh, it smells not too lemony. Kind of. Not as herbal, but like a female male perfume. The popular kinds. Like, I have a feeling I've smelled this on a woman's perfume before. So, to me, and, and they're like the really popular kinds, you know, the ones that where you go to Macy's or something and you're smelling, even the men's cologne has a little bit of, uh, to me, they always have that bergamot, lemon, citrus smell. I feel like this is where this is. I think it's terrific. Uh, I would get this one. So, uh, if you like that type of smell. And... I wanted to try something. I always try unusual things, things that I've never smelled before. And one of them was called Rosewood Coriander. So um, I've never uh, smelled rosewood before. I really don't know what that smells like. Uh, so I can't really, um, you know, kind of give you an idea. So uh, I try and I, uh, this had like, a four point rough seven to me um, on the reviews uh, so where's the bottle where are you here it is I hope you can see that and again I got all a bunch of 16 ounces the website's pretty uh, pretty decent it's very um, Friendly. I don't think it's too difficult to uh, find what you're looking looking for if you have a search. They have a search function, which is easy. And this one says top notes of orange and coriander seed with mid notes of mimosa, rose water, and Madonna lily on a dry base of African violet, cedarwood, rosewood, and musk. So, if you like that type of scent, it is great. Um, what I said it smells like, it smells foreign to me, it is, <laughs> though I do smell like it's uh, a bit sweet, but I also do smell coriander, um, and I guess a slight floral notes to it too, it smells great, it's not overpowering, so if you're one like me where I don't like to overpower my scents, I just like to have a hint of it and I don't typically want it to stay in my body forever. I just want, just like when you're in the shower, you just want to lather up and just smell it just right there, you know? So I hope this will do this one. I bet this really smells once you put it into the soap or the candle. I do now smell the rose water. <sighs> smells good and I, I have to admit, I, I'm, I'm loving it more than now that I'm smelling it. So again, this is maybe more than... I love smelling my scents off the bottle. Sadly, I know I should have like a coffee grounds to um, offset that. So if you have coffee grounds with you, it would be a good idea so you could kind of re... Um, it's like a tarring your scale, <laughs> zero out the smell. So. I know, haha, ha, that was a bad joke. Anyway, um, so, and I think my, wait, one, two, uh, that's my, on my fourth scent, I, I needed some male fragrance. I don't have any male fragrance. So I decided to try Cowboy. I figured, uh, why not? It's from Texas, Keller, Texas. I gotta, you know, um, represent I guess for for them and uh, it had 11 reviews and it had about again that 4.78 um, 
uh, scale in terms of a review and this one says a truly amazing men's fine fragrance with notes of citrus bergamot sea salt amberwood and it's a part of exclusive men's line of fine fragrances so and lo and behold could you just guess the picture i don't know if you could see it it's a cowboy i don't know if you can or can't sorry if you can uh so this one it smells good i mean it smells like all the perfumes you go to macy's let me tell you it's like when i bought my boyfriend this cologne uh it was um um, uh, what did I get him? Gosh, uh, I'm running a blank. Uh, it's a fame, it's a top five, it's like a top 10 and now I totally don't remember. <laughs> um, Yves Saint Laurent. It's Laom or something. Laom, I'm not saying I'm not French, so it probably means man, uh, in France. So... <laughs> If you're French, please correct me at any given moment. So, yeah, this is amazing. Um, I, I want to smell it again just to get high off this. Just don't try it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Cowboy. It definitely smells like a sporty cologne, but bergamotish, uh, aqua du jour. That's what I was thinking. It has a little bit of dupe like that. And, um,. So yeah, go to the men's department store, let me tell you, they have these amazing scents and I feel that uh, Lone Star kind of gets this one really good. And I've heard good reviews by another um, uh, woman that was giving reviews on Lone Star and I figured I'd add another review there just to help other people out. And um, like me, I'd like to shop around and see what I can get. And the last one, I didn't really like this one, maybe I just need to give it some time to like it and it's, uh, you know, I'm all about autumn lodge or just camping smells like cedar wood and um cinnamon and logs and how wood smells like and i wanted something like that uh so it would be for someone who's a rugged sporty person and this one it's called the all autumn lodge type so i thought uh okay this is what I said about this one. <laughs> In the beginning, it smells sweet. I do smell cinnamon, which I heard a lot of people in the reviews did say that, but has a musky, okay, grandma-ish type perfume smell. Um, it's not a bad way. I'm just saying it's a bit slight woodsy vanilla musky in it. Um, so let me see if I still smell that now. Hmm. Yeah, I still do. Okay, now, this is what they said about this one. Autumn Lodge. Let's check out what they said. Autumn Lodge type. Right, scroll down. And... It's a duplicate of a popular Yankee Candle fragrance. I kind of can see that. Yankee Candle has a very strong scent. This fragrance has top notes of winter green and pine needle with middle and bottom notes of fir, balsam, cinnamon, and spice. I think it needs a little more cinnamon and spice. I don't know what I'm smelling. It's, I don't even smell the pine needle to be honest. So. I don't know, maybe it's just my sense. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it just smells like grand, grandma should, should smell like in the lodge. So that is my notes for that. Uh, other than that, I also bought um, a couple of waxes. Uh, and this one cost me, um, let's see here. Uh, look at my other work uh, I mean my uh, other confirmation of supplies here okay so I got uh, IGI 4633 container blend wax so it's supposed to be 
uh, paraffin and uh, it's twenty dollars and ninety five cents for a uh, ten pounds lab and it comes in these labs so what I do is I, I um, bought this through Walmart and I like to make things neat and put them in containers uh, and it is very heavy uh, so there it is um, to be honest it's very sticky and you need a knife to cut it and I've already made some as you can tell I've already used some of it I don't know if you can see that it's very sticky so very very sticky stuff um, very tacky so wear those gloves um, as you cut along um, I mean, right now, like, if I could, I could probably bend this. Uh, to me, paraffin smells a whole lot. I could see why a lot of people use soy for clean burning. Uh, this, just by putting it on the, on the, uh, your heat source or just melting it down, it has a very strong smell. If you're sensitive to smell, this is that smelly. I don't know, maybe I'm just very sensitive to it, but it is, it smells. So... That's that, and I also bought a wick sampler kit. You can buy uh, this other wick sampler kit they have. I think it's $48 in some change, $48.95 maybe. It's probably smart to do that if, if you're a beginner like me and you just want to sample um, different containers that you want to use uh, and you're not quite sure what size you know because you're going by the diameter of your container and you don't know what you can go on Lone Star they do have a candle university and they could kind of give you an idea of which um, wicks you can use and these are pre-tabbed already you don't need to tab it yourself so this is a CD series I got this one and uh, this is their sampler kit. So they give you this big bag right here, and there's probably a lots of them, and they come in these little baggies, and they do label it. And so there you go. Uh, I got that. Um, I got the LX series. I had to really, you have to really also uh, check the description on each one because some of them will tell you this is best for soy, this is best for vegetable blend, and some of them will tell you it's all around. And try to use the ones that are what candle wax you're going to be uh, pretty much playing with, so uh, or experimenting with. Uh, I did a parasoy blend, so I wanted to make sure that it can have both soy and paraffin. So I didn't get the other bag because there's just some other items on there that I don't think I'll ever use. Uh, it probably would have been cheaper if I did buy that bag, but honestly, I think I spent forty uh, for all these samplers. So that's the LX ones, um, same thing except, you know, it's got a bigger bag or whatever. I love that they label it so you know which one is which. Um, this is the Eco Series. And uh, I know that Candle Science uses Eco Series a whole lot for their soy candles. And uh, so that's that. And uh, HTP, I did that one as well, HTP Series. And I also got, uh, this is neat, I got me some color dyes. Uh, the color dye, let me see how much I paid for those if you're curious. Uh, 545 um, uh, per one. Um, I think they're about 545 for a one ounce uh, on their candle dye. I don't use candle chips. Uh, I heard candle dyes better, but who knows? I could be just ex experimenting. I did uh, buy another um, candle supplies to another company in Texas, I believe, or Arizona. But uh, I'll make a review on that as well. But I don't think I'm probably going to because I didn't get a lot of items from them. Only a couple of items. So this is how it looks like. It's all bagged as well, and they do. Uh, label it for you. Uh, if you're not careful, some of it might have leaked. I do see a little blue in here. Maybe it's just from uh, just leaking, you know, and uh, that's probably because it's hot and it depends on where you live. It might have just, or they simply probably just refilled it and they touched the top. Who knows? I, I have no idea. 
but I'm sure that's easy. You can easily clean that off, and boom, it looks like it's stuck on this plastic, and everything else looks fine. So, I usually try to shake it, but these looks like they're they're very well, very liquidy. So I got I got new navy country blue. Figured get a little blue. That's universal. Uh, lime green. Have a thing with green and red, dark pink. You know, who doesn't want a red dye? Because you could use it for a lot of um, different scents that you have in mind. Uh, so, and I wanted to try glass glow <laughs> palm wax because I've heard a lot of good things about that vegetable wax. Um, so I did that as well. Um, so that was, uh, they were the cheapest actually for me and for, uh, how many pounds was that? I think it's a 10 pound bag. Yeah, it is a 10 pound, a 10 pound bag for $15.95. So for starters, this is how it looks like. And it's very, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see me or see this. <laughs> Uh, it's very grainy. It's like uh, beads. Bead like. I don't want to open it because then I'm pretty sloppy and this could go all over the place. So, very beady. It's white and I can't wait to try it. Um, and one more thing is the uh, CD16. I decided to get a big bag because apparently this goes with. Uh, my soy wax blend uh, for the 8 ounce tin cans. For me personally, that's what worked. It was CD16. But sometimes I think it's a mistake to buy this much. It's 100 wick. And I don't know if I want to use these uh, forever. 100 wicks, that's a lot. But, you know, maybe it'll work for other applications and I'll probably save this. Uh, so that's all I have for you for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully one day when I'm, you know, pretty confident enough I could make another video on um, just my soap making uh, and how I soap and I really appreciate everyone out there who have paved the way for people that are new in soap making and candle making. Uh, if you want to try candle making, you know what, who's really good at showing the how-to? Uh, is Timber Ridge Gifts. Uh, look him up and thank you um, Tim for showing us uh, how to make candles. Uh, I think it's great and uh, if you want to give it a go. I don't know if I want to sell immediately. It's kind of one of these things where I'd like to play with it for a while and see how it goes. Um, but it's always encouraging when you see other people that sell um, the items that they make and, and they love what they do and I think that just goes a whole long way and again thank you for all of you watching this and I'm the only one who's recording this today I record I'm probably gonna be recording everything by myself so thanks again and you guys have a great day week and weekend all right bye now